Welcome to Juneteenth Cincinnati Shorts. I'm Deqa Hussein Wetzel. Each week in June, we've shared short stories about Cincinnati's Black history. Today, Marion Spencer. In 1952, Ms. Marion Spencer was a mother of two. She and her kids would often hear an ad on the radio for Coney Island's entertainment grounds. Her kids were begging to go. Ms. Spencer had a hunch that they wouldn't be welcome. She called and the girl on the line said, quote, we don't admit Negroes, adding, quote, but I don't make the rules. Ms. Spencer replied, quote, I know, honey, but I'm going to find out who does. Ms. Spencer began organizing integrated protests at the front gates and convinced the NAACP to sue. In 1955, they won. But it would take a few more years before Coney Island was truly integrated. The fight turned Ms. Spencer into an activist. She went on to become the first female president of Cincinnati's NAACP chapter, the first African-American woman on Cincinnati City Council, and the first Cincinnati African-American female vice mayor. Every step of the way, she fought for desegregated education, equal housing, and job opportunities for Cincy's Black residents. When she passed in 2019 at the age of 99, University of Cincinnati President Neville Pinto said, quote, We have lost a true trailblazer. Her example will inspire generations to come. Juneteenth Cincinnati Shorts was brought to you by Urbanist Media's Urban Roots podcast team, Vanessa Quirk, Connor Lynch, and myself, Deva Hussein Wetzel.